So the first surprise was uh, our professor. And Kwame Jan did not uh, mince words to show how many of the lawyers in the committee that had trained under him. Fantastic uh, law lecturer, Kwame Jan. He's just fantastic. And uh, he doesn't know that we gave him a nickname entitled uh, Kwame Yeni. Kwame Jan, we used to call you Kwame Yeni because Kwame Yeni is a, I'm sure the people, the, the lawyers at the MCR are laughing. Kwame Yeni is a case that if you don't know, Kwame Jan will kill you. You know, Kwame Jan and property law. Kwame Yeni is very, 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 very important. And the famous question he asked, two brothers have a property. They have a land. They got it from their mother. They build a house on it. One of them dies. Who is the owner of the house? The whole class gets it wrong. Every year, the whole class gets it wrong because he will, he will tell you that you will think that it is for the other brother. Kwame Jan will say, a piece of land. Two brothers got it from their mother. They built a house on it. One of the brothers is dead. Who is the owner of the house? The whole class says, it's for the other brother. He says, wrong. Then he'll tell you that that is the first thing you have to understand. That law is different from common sense. Law is technical. It's not common sense. And everybody's looking at him. So who is the owner? He says, the house is for the family. We say, ah, why? Then he starts laughing. He says, okay, let me teach you. And by the time he's dealt with you in property law, you understand everything about it. That's Kwame Jan. Very, very, very excellent lawyer. This Atachia, uh, also a great lawyer. So the contest in parliament today began like this. Kwame Jan made a suggestion to the, the board, the chairman of the committee, the Honorable Atachia, and said to him that, Mr. Atachia, we have come here, I've come here with the uh, COP, Dr. Dampire, the Inspector General of Police. He has responded to your invitation. He's coming to speak to your committee. But we can see here that a certain Alex Mensah is sitting here. We can see that a certain uh, 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 Superintendent Asari is sitting here, COP Alex Mensah and Superintendent Asari are sitting here. These are the people who have come to accuse the IGP, made unfounded allegations against him. And they are sitting here. I want them to get out. Atasha says, ah, get out of what? He said, but when you call them, you didn't call us. Atasha explains that. We got a tip. There were people speaking on the tip. We were told that Bugri Nabu, Chief Bugri Nabu, is one of those on the tip, and that he actually hosted this meeting. So we called Chief Bugri Nabu to come. And it was Bugri Nabu who said the other people on the tip were Alex Mensah and Superintendent Asari. So we called them to come as well. What would be the reason for us in those circumstances to call the IGP? Then Kwame Jan asked him that, very well, very well, counsel. And I like the decorum among lawyers. I think that they've kept that tradition for thousands of years. It's very, very nice and beautiful. He says, even if a lawyer is angry with the other lawyer, he says, Mr. Chairman, respectfully, <laughs> you know, they, they say that. We don't know whether they actually mean respectfully or they mean something else, but they always say it. Uh, respectfully, uh, one, one lecturer in the Faculty of Law told us that when you think that the judge is, is going wayward, that's when you say with the greatest of respect. When you think that the judge, the, the, the judge is going wayward and it's not that far, you just say, my Lord, with respect. When you think the judge has said something very bad, you say, my Lord, with the greatest of respect. So when they say greatest of respect like that, they mean that the thing you said is not sensible at all. But they always start, oh, with the greatest of respect, my Lord, I like to disagree with you. Uh -huh. So Kwame Jan said, chairman, with the greatest of respect, I don't think that you are being fair. Because when they were speaking, we were not here. Atacha was uh, getting to the end of it and said, look, I'm coming to the end of it. I'm going to make a ruling. Is it your position that your client will not speak because uh, you say that other people are here? And Atacha asked an interesting question, and that's where I stood up, and I just, I almost applauded both of them. Atta said, counsel, tell me, what injury will it cause or occasion your clients if they sit here? Tell me what injury. It sounded like a very difficult question for Kwame Dan to answer. So when I heard that question, I stopped reading. I said, okay, let me watch. I was watching television on, uh, I believe I was watching CTTV. And uh, Kwame Jan then <laughs> also noticed that the question was a difficult one. But he showed tremendous experience in the answer. And I, I clapped for him. He said, Mr. Chairman, I understand what you are saying. But Mr. Chairman, you two tell me, what injury will it cause the committee if they go out? I started clapping. I said, this is what Ghana should look like. And we look like this, and we have this, and some people are able to say that there will be coup in Ghana like Niger. And Niger showed this kind of democratic epochs, epochal achievements in democracy, where the IGP appears before a committee and they are resolving the matter. And there's differences between the chairman of the committee and they are resolving it with the process, the procedure, and the intellect. People watch this and still think that coup is better or something like that. That Ghana is, is ripe for coup. Ghana is very ripe for coup. 
I was watching, and that's the first thing that came to my mind. That look at this. It looked like you are watching something at the House of Commons. It looked like you are watching the American Congress doing their public hearings. That's how it looked like. Ghana has come a very, very, very long way. This fourth Republican constitution, I dare say, has been successful. I saw that today in Parliament. I saw it. Men who are angry with each other. Men who, are, who want to put knives at each other. But they are shaking hands in the interest of democracy. What Kwame Jan said and the way Kwame Jan responded to Atachia was not because Kwame Jan is afraid of Atachia. It was in the interest of democracy, public conduct and public conduct. That's what democracy gives you. Who doesn't give you that? So Kwame Jan said, Mr. Chairman, if they leave here, what injury will it serve the committee? And I said, wow, how is Atachia going to respond to this? I was clapping. Atta looked at Kwame Jan and smiled. And said, you know what? You have asked for something, and I have overruled. And at, uh, Kwame Jan said, Mr. Chairman, I understand that you overruled. Is it the position of the committee that the committee has overruled my objection? Atta said, precisely. I have overruled your objection. There, the vice chairman, my friend James Agaga, came in and was concerned about something that was resolved, and they moved on. Okay, so that was the first part of the meeting. So, uh, lawyer Jan then submitted uh, his client, Dr. Dampari to the committee. What happened thereafter?